Hello and welcome again to Forgotten Temples with myself, Mr. B. Do you know what I really like? I absolutely love, and that is the surreal. What we have here is what looks like this beautiful, beautiful river, full of dragonflies and butterflies and all that is gentle and good in nature. But right next to it is a busy main road. There are trucks and cars and motorcycles going up and down, showing us everything that is bad with humankind. The noise, the pollution. Right next to this river, they run parallel, side by side. And surely that is a bad thing, this road being right here next to this serenity. But guess what? One literally could not live without the other. The traffic passes by in its legion and this river, which it is not, is staggeringly beautiful. It really is. What you are in fact looking at is a moat and it is vast. It stretches to all the way out there. It has a huge perimeter and the reason is for the building that has just come into your frame. Within this moat there is this ancient structure but that ain't no temple. What this is is truly remarkable. And for once we know exactly what it is we are looking at. We even know how many of these were built, 102 to be precise, and they were built in the 13th century by Jaya Varman VII. So what do we have here if we do not have a temple? Well, quite incredibly, this is an ancient hospital. And to think it has stood here for nigh on 1,000 years and is still standing is quite remarkable. But let's remember the beginning of this video. Remember there is acres upon acres of land within this compound. So let us activate our imagination and see what else lays here. So when we open up our imagination and bring with it a big dollop of logic, we can look back into the past. We have this insanely busy road next to this beautiful waterway that holds an ancient hospital. Now they didn't build this waterway that goes all the way around this big moat to encompass acres upon acres of land for no reason. And the reason is very clear and it is that road. You see that road that is now covered in tarmac is in fact an ancient artery of that once mighty empire. And that is the exact reason why this hospital was placed here. And there is even more remnants of it and it's right in front of you in your screen. This pool was to capture water. Now keep in mind that this has been hit by monsoon rains for century after century it has been baked in furnace like heat for century after century and look at its symmetry. It hasn't sunk in any way, it's pretty much perfect and guess what, even now it is still holding water. So let's walk in the very footsteps of those ancients but guess what, we're going to hospital and back then, oh dear you get an infection or you break a limb then you could easily die. So as they walked this way maybe aided by a loved one and carried in they would get to the inner sanctum and it's here that a further story must be told. On entering they would have seen this building now greatly reduced. That, in fact, is a library. But holding centre stage was this. And I believe this would have been their first port of call. 
because this, you see, was the home of a god. Right there, Vishnu, Shiva, one of the greats. So as a weary traveller, and bear in mind you could have travelled Lord knows how many days or months even in absolute pain, even to get this far to be on that major archery of this vast kingdom, you could have come from a far off foreign land. So you would have gone up these unbelievably steep steps and you would have asked your God for some aid. So what we have here is the home of a god, but as you know, right next to it is a library. So there are two levels of care here. One being spiritual, saying everything will be okay. And the other being medical. Right there in that very library would have been ancient books of potions and of medicines that potentially have saved thousands of weary travellers' lives. Right here is the reason I do what I do. Look at the serenity and the beauty of this final shot. We have the bough of the tree as the leaves just gently kiss the still waters of this moat. And if I move to one side, right there is that busy road. You can't hear it so much because of the special mic I use, but believe me, it is noisy. And it's strange to think that this wonderful serenity and that tarmac monstrosity have been together as long as time itself. <laughs> it's a thing of absolute beauty when all put together, the modern and the ancient, for what a wonderful tale it tells. And I very much hope that you have enjoyed this trip around somewhere that's far off in an ancient mystical land. And if by chance you could help me build up a library, the first ever library in the world of these ancient sites, then I would be truly grateful. And how you do that is you go to www.patreon.com forward slash temples. Simple as that. So until next time, as always, I wish you absolutely nothing. But of course, the very best. You be sure to take good care now.